you, Madam Deputy Speaker, and I want to acknowledge the, uh, the uh, member for Kingsford Smith for bringing on this motion. It's uh, well timed uh, and well executed, so thank you. Um, Madam Deputy Speaker, I've been a surf lifesaver for 14 years. I had to check that this morning. I couldn't quite remember how long it had been. Um, and in that time, I've seen the very best of people and their selfless dedication to their fellow Australians. I've seen and experienced great acts of bravery where volunteers have run and swum towards danger to ensure that a member of the public gets to go home after an innocent day at the beach. This speech is for the brave members of the Surf Lifesaving Fraternity who at times are called upon to risk their own lives to save another's, who usually is a complete stranger. The motto of Surf Lifesaving Australia is vigilance and service. Between the red and yellow flags dotted around the coast of this great land are surf clubs and lifesaving clubs, whose volunteers give up time from work and their own families to keep our beaches safe. In the 113 years of the existence of surf clubs in our country, there has only ever been one reported case of a death of someone swimming between the red and yellow flags. And when you compare that to almost 150,000 people who have been saved swimming between the red and yellow flags, that is an amazing accomplishment. Um, I'm so incredibly proud to be a member of the Alex Surf Club, where I've been active for 14 years. The club is an amazing family-friendly club and has, been, and has been since its inception since 1924. Joining the Alex Surf Club certainly changed my life, not just by the people I've worked alongside, but by the emphasis it's taught me to place upon my own health and fitness and has taught me so many life and leadership skills. Whilst I've seen the very best of people in my role, I have also seen the very worst. On a recent patrol just a few weeks ago, one of my team, Steve Ling, pulled two little kids out of the surf. They'd been caught in a strong sweep and were being pulled out to sea. But for the quick thinking and actions of Steve, the outcome could have been disastrous. Assisted by another team member, when the two young kids were brought to shore, and they were no older than 10, where I asked, the, where were your mum and dad? They were up at the bluff bar. Sadly, this is not an isolated incident. Parents, Lifesavers and lifeguards are not babysitters. Your children are your responsibility. It's your responsibility to be down at the beach and, depending upon their age, be with them in the water or, at the very least, by the water's edge. Watch them like a hawk. Unsupervised children can drown in the bath, let alone the ocean. I see so many people who choose not to swim in the, in the, in the, who choose not to swim in the flagged area. Some of them are drunk or under the influence of drugs. Some can't even swim at all. Why do they do it? I simply don't understand. Please, please swim between the flags. Bathe in accordance with your own abilities and the conditions. Don't swim whilst under the influence and always feel free to speak to lifesavers to ask them for up-to-date weather and surf conditions. Remember, if we can't see you, we can't save you. Finally, I want to thank the, the following members that have volunteered as part of Patrol Team 3, which I have been the captain of over the last eight years. In alphabetical order, Amy Bateman, Dakota Burkery, David Birch, Olivia Bredhauer, Caroline Campbell, Paul Campbell, David Clancy, Carl Ditko, Peter Duffy, Mitch Duffy, Benjamin Ellers, Brett Fellows, Carl Fiddler, Jacob Flaherty, Brad Graver, Isaac Hampstead, James Hill, Julie Horgan, Scott Howarth, Dale Kleinschmidt, Jonathan Last, Gavin Lewis, Steve Ling, Harry Ling, Jessica Ling, Cheryl Ling, Rob Matchett, Chris Morrison, Angus Roberts, Lynn Roberts, Gary Roberts, Richard Short, Ben Sinak, Christy Taylor, Louise Taylor Smith, Dylan Wheeler, and Kale Willis. Finally, I want to thank Glenn Garrick, OAM. Glenn, but for your encouragement and mentorship, I would never have become a lifesaver, nor would I have become involved in the, in the leadership of the club, nor would I have become PC for Patrol Team 3. Thanks for your friendship and thanks for continuing to fill in for me when this job doesn't allow.